much more. Yeah. Um, I think we hit the 100 mark. We developed a device called the Light Sound that essentially takes light and converts it to sound as a tool for the blind and visually impaired. Start hearing an ascending, ascending tone, and then you should hear it. April 8th is the total solar eclipse that's going to go through, it's going to start in Mexico, it's going to go through Texas, Arkansas, through uh, the United States up to Northeast. There's all matching colors, or mismatching colors. And, um, there's a light sensor on the back, so essentially it's measuring the brightness of light as it changes during the eclipse, as the moon eclipses the sun. We're going to have these devices all along the path so people can experience it with sound. What does it say? So it says light sound at the top, and then for the USB port, it says USB. There's a P for power. It's the... In 2017, I just distinctly remember feeling really left out. Um, I actually have this memory of feeling a little bit resentful <laughs> that I couldn't be a part of this eclipse in some way. Okay, now I want you to imagine that you are the sun. I want you to kind of shine the light in different directions. With um, whose name escapes me at the moment, but uh, it's going to allow us to capture. Um, yeah, I, I can connect with the science teacher. Even though we can't see something, it doesn't mean that we can't experience something. Um, you know, we have a lot of different senses and different ways of um, enjoying different experiences. Um, and just because it's different doesn't mean that it's not worthwhile. Right? Don't you, once you get in the zone, isn't it the best? Just a few steps to building the devices. Um, we just have three components that we solder on, a light sensor, a MIDI board, which is where we uh, assign the sounds, or the instruments, I guess, and then the, the main microcontroller board where the code sits. Um, and once you solder that on, then we're ready to do a sound check. So we you know, attach a battery, plug in the headphones, and check to make sure it's working or troubleshoot. Um, luckily, today we've built a bunch and they haven't had any major problems. Um, and then we get to put them back in the case. So we pick out a case of your choice, and then uh, and then it's essentially ready to go. Wait a few seconds, you'll heat it up, and then you'll bring your solder in, and it will basically melt. This is the light sensor. Yeah. Uh, hear music. Well, with lots of help, I got... The So one option, you can hook this up to a speaker and then you can project the sound to an entire group. So we can kind of, as the sun is changing, this would be like the bright light of the sun. And then as it starts to dim, it goes away and the sound kind of gets lower. And then the shadow comes in and it gets even lower and starts clicking. Okay, yeah, well, I'm very surprised. I, was, I don't know what I was imagining, but I wasn't imagining this. Very interesting. It's going to be inclusive, and having any technology that makes it possible for us to have an experience, an actual experience, rather than somebody simply describing it to us, is always fantastic. I had this dream of being the first blind astronaut in space. Um, I went to space camp several times when I was a teenager. Didn't want to open it up and play around with it, and so uh, whatever's inside, it's just... I think when I got older, though, I just realized, like, you know, being a scientist is really hard. Um, being a blind scientist is even more challenging because of the lack of accessibility, the lack of tools that are out there. 
I'm very excited about it. I'm definitely going to be a part of it this year.